Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Cattails. Now I just loaded up this game, I let Penny sleep after all of her adventures at the summer festival, and now it looks like Scout has a little something to say. I think this might be our first step toward the kittens that we're all waiting for, so I wanted to make sure that you guys saw this too. Hey Penny, are you awake? I've just been thinking a lot lately, and I have a question for you. What do you think about having kittens of our own someday? Yes, of course, like literally, there is no other option. You really think so? Me too. I can't wait to have little paws running around the den. I love you, Penny. Oh, Scout. Because last time, in the last episode, we finally finished our nursery. Molby finished digging this entire thing out. I didn't expect uh, him to ask us that question so soon, though. I'm very, very happy that you did, of course, Scout, but you wasted no time at all. Of all the great things about fall, I think the most important is that there are dead brown leaves laying around everywhere. There's no better hiding place for me than under a tree in fall, all because he blends in so well. Though the crunchy leaves might make it a little bit hard for him to sneak around. But yeah, here is our nursery, and it sounds like very, very soon, we're actually going to have a little kittens in there. I think it does take a couple of seasons before the kittens actually arrive. The date itself is random, but now we need to make sure that we're giving him all of those rabbits. The happier he is, the more likely he is to uh, give us many, many kittens. But of course, the other thing that happened yesterday was we somehow miraculously managed to get our hands on both of the last treasures we need for the Forest Guardian. So we have our catfish. We got that at the uh, summer festival. Thankfully, we scraped together just enough tokens to buy this thing. Then we managed to find the blue jay on our way over to the mountain domain, which was just sheer luck on Penny's part, and more so that she was actually able to uh, catch it too. So let's head out. Let's see if uh, we can make our way over to the sacred temple and hopefully impress Coco with all of our treasures. I think he is going to be really, really shocked to see that we've uh, finished everything that we need. But we do have some little uh, licorice roots for you. We know that you love these, so I hope you'll enjoy the snack. We have some work to do today, so we're not going to be hanging around. We just want to make sure that we replenish a dock supplies. I know we've stolen a few from you over the past few days, so we have to make sure that we're thinking of you too. I sure am glad cats like Ember exist. Oh, he told us about that yesterday too. But I like to hear that Doc is uh, trying his best to support Ember too, with all of his uh, herb sales. Penny, what's up? Wanna hang out today? I've been thinking about getting my fur tied, Missy, not you too. What is going on with these cats? It's like deja vu everywhere we go. Well, we have a little berry for you too, Missy. Maybe you can use this to test out any potential colors that you might want to dye your fur. And then I think we're going to uh, swap around our pets again. Since we are going to uh, some more dangerous territory, potentially anyway, depending on what might be down in uh, the new temples that we unlock, I think we're going to take Aqua the Turtle. She is the hardiest of all of our pets so far, and I think she could really help us out if we have uh, maybe some more bats to defeat, but we might as well pick up all of these dragonflies too. We don't really need them anymore, but who knows? Maybe one of our kittens will really like them. I bet Sarge could actually hide pretty well inside the leaves too, because he's pretty similar in color to Scout. I don't know how I got along without your friendship, Penny. You are an inspiration. Oh, that is so sweet, Sarge. And speaking of which, I think Lyris should be coming out of his den pretty soon. Does he wake up at 10 o'clock? Let's see. There he is. We have an extra little butterfly for you, little guy. The last butterfly of summer. So I hope you do enjoy this. Can you feel the breeze today? It's just what I need. Feels great. Oh, excellent. So he'll be able to uh, dream up many, many new poems, of course. But I think after we uh, stop and chat with Mare too, we should be ready to go off for the Forest Guardian. Can you taste the crisp autumn wind as it blows by? Soon the trees will be bare and ready for rebirth. Everybody seems to be enjoying the uh, refreshing fall time breeze, which I know I would too because I absolutely love the fall. 
And I know I've said it before, but Penny actually quite enjoys the colder seasons too. She's a very, very a fluffy cat, so her thick coat keeps her warm. And of course, she loves to watch all of the leaves drifting through the trees. And oh my goodness, how is it always that Penny seems to have trouble early in the morning when she goes hunting? It seems like she slowly needs to warm herself up for catching prey. There we go, that time she managed to uh, pounce on that bunny. We need to make sure we have enough to uh, keep us through the winter in particular, especially if it takes a little bit longer to have our kittens. We have to keep Scout happy. But we're almost to uh, the center of the map. We don't have any battles around here today, right? Yesterday, we were very, very shocked to find that the Mountain Domain had been waiting to ambush us right before the festival. It seems as though Leo might have some uh, tricks up his sleeve. It's a little bit worrying that he would try to uh, get rid of us right as we're going to the peaceful festival itself. But I believe this pillar over here is calling for the catfish, so let's drop that down at its base. Faded runes appear upon the pillar. You read them? Your generosity is boundless, but there remains one thing I lack. Seek the green jewel in a place long deserted by its owner. Oh, that's probably the abandoned uh, cottage right above, yeah, the forest colony. Oh, that's actually really close to home. Okay. The cottage is locked. A key has been handed down to the one called Mayor. Oh my goodness. This is going to be so easy for us to get then. Earn Mare's trust to obtain the key. Then investigate the abandoned cottage to restore balance to this pillar. Okay, we can definitely do that. I bet Mare will be ready to unlock that the moment we get back home. And now the Blue Jay, the very final item that we need. Oh, Penny was very, very tempted to munch on this herself. Cryptic runes appear upon the pillar. You read them. You honor the ruins, but there remains one thing I lack. Seek the orange jewel in a sudden grove of trees. In a sudden grove of trees, I'm not actually sure what that might be. I mean, there's a lot of trees around the world here. Journey to the prairie cops to restore the balance to this pillar. Okay, so that would probably be closer to this side of the map, I think, because we have like the prairie and quarry over here. So let's see if we can maybe find it. Okay, this might be the prairie cops right above the quarry but it is a deep in enemy territory. So that one might be trickier for us to get to. I think today we're going to focus on the abandoned cottage because I mean, that is going to be so, so easy for Penny to unlock. So we'll start small and we'll hope. We'll cross our fingers that nothing super, super dangerous is waiting for us there. I would warp to uh, the home, but since it's so early in the day, we might as well spend our time walking back just uh, hunting for prey. All of these little toads and whatnot. I want to have a wide selection of food for when our kittens are uh, born, because I want to see what sort of things they all like. I'm sure they're all going to have their unique personalities after all, so they'll probably enjoy uh, different little treasures that we can find around the world. There's a little mouse down here too, which would be perfect for Penny to snack on herself. And then yet another bunny way up here between all of these trees. So let's scoop this one up too to bring back to Scout. I am so relieved that we don't have to worry about uh, trying to find any more rare items. Now, next time we visit one of the festivals, we can just focus on maybe collecting the other decor, things like that, that uh, Penny was very, very tempted to spend her tokens on before. But hello, Mare. We uh, want to ask you about a certain abandoned cottage key. You want to get inside the abandoned cottage? I suppose that's reasonable enough. I'll unlock it for you. The entrance to the abandoned cottage has been unlocked. Thank you so much, Mare. I'm sure that sounds like a bit of a strange request, just uh, out of the blue, but we promise it's for a very, very good reason. So just like um, the graveyard, I would imagine that we're probably going to be able to uh, go inside the house itself. So I'm quite curious to see what we're going to find in here. I mean, the graveyard had ghosts inside. You know, the door is definitely unlocked now, but let's just go ahead and scoop up. Oh no, the extra bunny. Oh, I guess I got too close, but we have a second one over here. The first one even stopped running away. So let me just make sure Penny is full. Otherwise she's going to have trouble jumping. And this is going to be the third bunny of the day. Oh, the fourth one maybe? Can we actually get an extra one in the pile? Oh my goodness. Scout is going to be so happy. Four bunnies. 
That means we uh, replenished his stock from what he ate today, and we even gave him an extra bunny to boot. But let's go ahead and see what's inside this abandoned cottage. Oh my goodness, what on earth is all of this? Oh, this looks very, very confusing. There's arrows all over the floor. And I wonder if this is going to be a thing where if we get it wrong, we'll have to like fight our way through some enemies. Well, let's read what this little plaque says on the wall. Return the blue stone on the left to its proper place on the right. Use your strength to overcome obstacles. Would you like to reset the puzzle? No, not yet. We have to give it a shot first. So I guess we need to move these big blocks because it seems like Penny can't really go through them. So if we move maybe this one over in this direction, then we can maybe scoot this one out of the way so we can move that blue block. Though I think I may have already messed this up because we're not going to be able to move this one out of the way now. It seems like everything else is kind of blocked in. Unless, wait a second, what if I go over here and move uh, this one down? Can I move it down? There we go. I thought maybe it was stuck. Now, uh, is there any way for us to move the rest of these around too? We can move this one up, then we can go back around all of these other blocks to uh, get to this one again. Move this to the side. Okay, we still need to get rid of this one though so we can move the last one in the middle. Yeah, I feel like I may have done this wrong, but all we can really do is try to push that down. Oh, now that's going to be stuck. Okay, but we are very close. I mean, you have to admit that we got very, very close here on our first try. So let's go ahead and reset the puzzle and uh, try once again. I think our first mistake was our very first move because it seemed like it kind of blocked us so many of the other ones from going anywhere else. So let's just make sure Penny is well fed. She needs her brain food. And then we'll start this time from the opposite direction. We can push that one down to the bottom and it leaves just enough space for it to sit comfortably. So basically when we move this one, we have to make sure that nothing is on um, any of these tiles because otherwise it won't fit. The thing is we need to move this one too, which means we need to move the one above it and the one right beside it. So the only way to go is down, and that makes me think that maybe we need to scoot this one up for just a moment. Let this uh, slide off to the right, and then we should be able to shove this all the way down to the bottom. Now if we move this one out of the way and shove the last one back to the top, will it be possible to shuffle around the rest enough to actually clear the path? I don't know, maybe I did it wrong. Well, let's at least try to uh, shuffle these around a little bit. Oh my gosh, I think I may have actually gotten it. I think that may have been the key. Okay, if we move this one back to the left now, then we can put this back in its uh, original location. That clears out the end. Now we just have to push this block off to the right, this one straight up, and now it should be a clear shot over all the way to the end. Yes, there we go. Oh, that one was very, very tricky. I will hand it to you, Forest Guardian. You have hidden this jewel very well. You found a jewel. You should take this to the Arcane Pillar and the Temple Ruins. Excellent, and it looks like there's actually a pretty uh, nice stack of Mews in here too. Little treasures that Penny could add to her funds if she wanted to. Maybe that's actually Mare's secret little pile of treasure. His uh, pilgrimage fund even. There must be some reason why he didn't want anybody poking around. Maybe even more than just the jewel itself. But hello, Scout. It looks like you're finally out of the den again, enjoying the nice fall time air. And our little butterfly too. He seems to be guarding our tropical butterfly very, very closely. I feel like we should probably move those treasures into the den pretty soon anyway because I'm sure, yet again, our kittens would enjoy a playing with all of those items. Especially those uh, special little jewels from Sarge. They are going to love those. They will be spoiled rotten. How many kittens do you think can say that they played with the gemstones in their youth? We'll train them well, of course. They won't just uh, have everything handed to them. They'll have to learn how to hunt. They'll have to uh, learn how to catch bunnies and birds as well as Penny can. Maybe some will even learn how to uh, fish and swim better than she does. 
we might find that some of our kittens enjoy the water, while others would prefer to live high up in the mountains with the mountain domain. But we have plenty of reinforcements with us yet again, probably patrolling this area thanks to uh, all of the turmoil yesterday. They want to make sure that Penny is going to have a safe passage over to the Sacred Temple. Great, we finally have the green jewel. Let's put it in the arcane pillar and see what happens. So that's green for uh, the forest colony. And I guess we got the blue one from the mountain colony and then the red one from the mystic colony. I didn't realize that at the time, but now it's pretty obvious. Incredible. The arcane pillar's powers have been restored. There's just one pillar left. We're so close. All right, excellent, go, go. And I think uh, in the next episode, we'll go ahead and visit this pillar's quest by the prairie. But for the rest of today, we're going to let Penny wander around the world and to catch her prey, of course. Make sure she stocks up on uh, all of her food, all of her herbs, because the fall time is also a time for great preparation. Unfortunately, last year she just didn't have enough items to keep herself fully fed, to keep herself up fully healed, so we had to pay quite a few visits to Doc to make sure that the wounds wouldn't uh, be a problem in those big battles. We might even consider trying to sniff out some more lavender because that would really help us uh, control the areas leading over to the prairie. That way we would be a little bit more likely to have reinforcements of our own, because if we do have cats guarding that area, and I mean what colony would leave such a sacred place unguarded? then we're really going to have to make sure that our backup can find us. So we'll head a bit deeper into the mountain as soon as we wake up tomorrow. We'll go ahead and warp home for now. Let Penny curl up to sleep, of course, right next to Scout. Oh, wait a second, we have tons of lavender here. Well, we could always use more, but we might as well just take this giant stash for now. And we'll use that to uh, spread our territory even further. For that matter, since we're in the den, why don't we go ahead and swap around our active skills? Um, let's see, if we open up the skills menu, we should be able to get rid of the uh, wild slash for now, I guess. That would probably be the safest one for us to unequip. And place our diplomacy skill in here instead. That way we should be able to use this on the uh, contested tiles to gain even more influence for the forest. And good thing we're back at the den because our pockets are definitely full from all of our adventures yesterday. We were actually looking for just one more little valerian flower to spread all around these tiny little kitten beds. And Penny is hoping that they'll provide her with a little bit of extra luck for a nice, big, healthy family. Another good way to unload these items would, of course, be to give Scout all of his bunnies for the day. And now we should be prepared to take a whole bunch of this lavender up into the mountain area over by the prairie and hopefully pick our homegrown herbs too. Our cat our berries, so Penny is going to have plenty to keep her sustained, and plenty to uh, potentially offer up as gifts. I think we might actually give Mare one of our uh, catnip plants. We did tell him that we were growing some of this for him, so I bet he was really looking forward to uh, finally getting some catnip of his own. This is for me? I can't believe it, thank you so much! Alright Mare, we're still not exactly on that last star with him. He's the only cat that we haven't uh, gotten a full relationship with yet. Oh, but look at that. He's giving us a harvest mouse. It must be a little thank you gift. So we know that we're uh, warming his heart. He might be stubborn, but even Mare is bound to crack eventually. Now here's your daily licorice root ember. We're going to take the uh, rest of them with us for now, just in case we need a bite to eat. But I do want to uh, sell off all of these dragonflies that we've managed to collect. It's not worth very much, but uh, we do need to figure out what we're going to save toward next. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I know we wanted to uh, think about buying the Plague Doctor mask for the Fall Festival. That's all the way over in the uh, Mystic Colony and it does cost quite a bit. So I'm not sure if it's something that we'll be able to uh, save up for in time, but it is something to consider. And it looks like Ember gave us another white firefly too. Oh, that is so sweet. They're out of season now, so this is uh, definitely going to help us out quite a bit. We'll be able to use this as yet another decoration inside our nursery. So we'll place this over here for now. Maybe a Scout can find a good place to set that up while we're out for the day. We finally have enough herbs to replace uh, some of your golden seals and some of your marigolds as well. Ain't nothing quite like some crunchy leaves to jump in. 
When I was a little kitten, my mom would scoop them all up for me every year and let me play. Always like the red ones best for some reason or another. Oh, I would love it if we had the opportunity to do that for our kittens too. Can you imagine? And it looks like Missy is still, yet again, thinking about getting her fur dyed. So I guess uh, she hasn't gotten around to maybe using all of those berries to test it out. Alright Aqua, I think it's finally time for us to head out. So let's head over to uh, the eastern portions of the map today. That way we can make our way a little bit closer to the prairie and get it all prepared for our journeys tomorrow. We'll want to make sure that we cross both of the rivers in the forest so that we can make it all the way over to where the prairie is and then start slowly preparing all of our territory for our reinforcements to travel freely. So this should be river number one or at least uh, the first branch of the river that we're going to cross. And then the other one should be just a couple of tiles away. Yeah, if we cross over this islet and then maybe make our way toward the north, we should be able to at least uh, scout around that area, see if any of the other colony cats are going to give us trouble. We don't often uh, toe the line between the mystic colony and the mountain colony, and I guess that's what's worrying me the most. We know how brutal the mystic and mountain cats can be to our reinforcements, but we've never really uh, asked about how they feel about each other, if that makes sense. If uh, there's some sort of a long, deep war going on between Alyssa and Leo, who knows? Maybe Leo sent out his cats to ambush Alyssa's too. It wouldn't surprise me, and I certainly wouldn't put it past him. He's a very, very suspicious cat. Let's go ahead and make sure that Penny is well fed though. And then we'll use a little bit of our lavender right here because this would probably be the best place for us to start uh, claiming the territory. It's still connected to the forest colony right now and we need to actually have that green tile nearby in order to claim more territory. That was why we couldn't claim that little uh, secret lake up by the highlands because of course it's so far away on our map that it wasn't uh, connected to our current land. So we kind of have to make a trail all the way over to the prairie quarry if we want to do this properly. In fact, let's go ahead and use our diplomacy skill right here. This would actually be a pretty good thing for us to consider upgrading too, because that would allow us to use it a bit more frequently and we wouldn't have to rely just on the lavender. Eventually, Penny is going to, oh my goodness, work her way toward a world domination, but Pumpkin is certainly not impressed by that idea. Thankfully, Penny is so very strong now that just one cat is not going to, oh dear, be enough to deter her. But three cats is a bit of another story. We don't have our wild slash at the ready this time, so we'll have to uh, make sure that we take these cats out one at a time. We don't want to get ourselves swarmed. It's just like the bats down in the caves. We just have to be cautious. I think those battles should also be gaining us a little bit more control over these tiles because every time we take out one of their cats, we should uh, gain a tiny, tiny percentage, just like when we battle them off on our borders too. So it's all slowly working to uh, our benefit. We'll just go ahead and use the rest of the lavender that we have in our pockets. Oh, we are so close to claiming this tile too, and it's so close to the quarry as well. This would be a great place for us to have under our control. Another mole to work for and uh, potentially some more gemstones for us to gather up as well. I'd imagine there's probably another power paw hidden somewhere deep down in those layers. So we'll have to consider coming back here in the future. For now, we'll just use a couple of these extra little lavenders just to slowly chip away at the uh, mystic colony control. And then if I remember correctly, the uh, place that we're looking for should be right up here. Yeah, the prairie cops. And look at all of these berries. You can tell that we haven't been by here before because I can't remember ever picking those berries. We even have some little doves to scoop up. Oh, we know Penny loves her birds, so at least she has a snack. And there's the staircase. All right, so we're not going to go down there just yet. It's a little bit too late for Penny to consider getting into yet another one of those uh, puzzles. But in the next episode, we're going to go there straight away. At least we know what's waiting here for us now. That was uh, kind of half the battle. And at least we know that it's relatively calm here too. We only had a few cats to try to fight our way through. 
so we might as well see if there's anything else that we can, oh, discover way out here. Unfortunately, it looks like this totem isn't willing to speak to us right now, but that's quite interesting. We'll have to make a mental note of that. We have to try to figure out where that other totem was too, the one that asked us about uh, different types of gemstones. I hope it wasn't that one. I'm not exactly sure when they uh, turn on, if it's maybe during certain seasons. In fact, would uh, the top of that give us any clues? It kind of looks like a snowflake. Oh, I wonder if that means that maybe we can only use it in the winter time. That would probably make sense. So once the season changes over, we'll have to remember to come back here to the prairie border, right nearby the quarry, and see if we cannot answer that totem's questions. And we're getting a little bit too deep into Mystic Colony territory for my taste, especially so late at night. So let's have Penny return home. She has a very, very big day ahead of her tomorrow when we're going to go back to the prairie and see if we can get our final jewel for the Forest Guardian. I am so excited to see what's going to happen once we do finally restore the balance. I mean, I guess it's right around the corner, so I hope you guys are looking forward to it too. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!